I'm Sean White, and today we're meditating on dressing up our dogs. So I don't want to get too into the weeds on uh, cooking hot dogs because the reality is they come to you pre-cooked. You can open the package and eat them straight away. Uh, it's like eating a little tiny mini bologna. It's a little weird, actually. But what we're going to look at is a couple of different ways of reheating or cooking our hot dogs. Um, first one, it's summertime. There's a lot of backyard barbecues going on. So the uh, most obvious method is just taking the hot dog, throwing it on the grill and uh, cooking it up that way putting a little, uh, little grill marks on it, um, heating it up that way. Uh, or as I used to do as a kid, the uh, poor man's uh, you know, grill. Uh, you just take a hot dog, stick it on a fork, and then put it over the, um, over the burner on my stove uh, and cook it up that way. Uh, and now I'm a backyard. What can you do? You got to make do with what you got, people. Uh, nowadays, I like to uh, take, the, uh, take the hot dog slice it down, butterfly it, put it on a, uh, on a flat top and uh, give it a little bit of a hurting, right? Uh, this way you get, uh, you can kind of get that little char on the inside and on the outside. So that's, uh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite way of going. Um, you can do it in a, in a microwave. You, you know, if you're like, I want a hot dog, but I only have 10 seconds. Just make sure you stab it with your fork first. So this way the steam has a place to uh, escape. Otherwise it blisters up and just looks weird. Uh, healthiest option I'm going to give you is uh, the dirty water dog preparation. Uh, put it in a pot of boiling water. Uh, we talked about the negative health effects of cooking meats at high temperature, like on grills and uh, in uh, metal pans. Um, so this is a slightly uh, better way of going uh, with it. And um, last one I'm going to give you, uh, wrap it in foil and stick it on your engine, drive around the neighborhood uh, for 10 minutes. and yeah think I'm joking, but I'm going to give you a, a link in the show note for it because uh, I, I remember as a kid, um, like back in the 80s, that was a thing. I think they were like people were developing recipes on how to cook on your engine block. And I used to do that with breakfast sandwiches. I used to make them in the morning and then wrap them up in foil and stick them into the into the uh, engine compartment. And, um, and by the time I got to work a half an hour later, I still had nice hot breakfast. I'm not proud. I'm not proud. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about cooking the hot dog. We're talking about how we're dressing them up, what we're putting on them, and what we're putting next to them. So let's just get started with that. So the first thing I want to talk about is fermented foods, right? Um, fermented foods are, are, are something you should really try working into your diet. If you want to read more about it, there's a great book by Katherine Harmon Courage called Cultured. I highly recommend this book. I think it's great. Um, but now a couple of, uh, of fermented foods that we would put on our hot dogs would be sauerkraut, um, relish, pickles are a fermented food, so relish uh, would be uh, fermented. If you want to get a little fancy and you want a little bit more kick, put some, uh, put some kimchi uh, on your hot dogs. Um, I think that works out really well uh, also. So why are fermented foods good for us? Uh, a couple of reasons. One, they're really good for our gut microbiome. They help diversify, they help uh, uh, you know, create the uh, healthy bacteria and try to get rid of some of the unhealthy bacteria. Um, also, fermented foods can help strengthen the lining of our intestinal walls. Um, this is gonna be good. It's gonna, you know, help prevent uh, leaky gut. And the majority of our immune system is in our intestinal tract. So anytime we can, you know, bolster our gut health, uh, our intestinal health, it's gonna booster our immune system. Um, it's going to keep us healthier. It's going to help prevent illness. Uh, so it's always a great way of going. That's why I'm saying not just for hot dogs, but just in general, anytime working in any sort of fermented foods, whether it be like like yogurts and whatnot, uh, it's always a good uh, always a good thing to do. Um, they're also good for uh, helping to reduce cardiovascular disease, uh, helping to reduce muscle soreness, uh, helping to improve our mood. So it's just a great way of uh, of, of going. Um, the two major condiments that we think of when we think of hot dogs are ketchup and mustard, right? Let's start with mustard. Hated mustard as a kid, love it as an adult. Uh, mustard is very high in nutrients. It's very high in antioxidants. I talk about antioxidants a lot. Uh, we wanna try to work those into our diet uh, as frequently as possible, help uh, you know, combat free radicals, um, you know, 
This is gonna help keep us healthier and prevent more illness. That's what we want in life. Uh, mustard can help uh, prevent certain types of diseases. So it's a really good condiment to use uh, anyway. Um, not even just for hot, like hot dogs, working in debt like other things too, like a good mustard vinaigrette for like salads and everything like that. So ketchup, now ketchup I loved as a child and still love as an adult, right? That love has never diminished. Uh, ketchup can be really good for you. It's, uh, you know, tomato based, so it's high in lycopenes. Um, the thing that you gotta be mindful of is uh, ketchups can be high in salt and sugar. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to look at the ingredients. When we're in the supermarket, it's gonna take 30 seconds to compare brands and find one that's going to be, you know, better for us. Uh, a couple of rules of thumb that I like is the f fewer amount of ingredients, the better. The fewer amount of ingredients that I can't pronounce, uh, the better. And also being uh, mindful of, of hidden things. Anytime there's an OSC at the end, like an OS, um, like sucrose, dextrose, these are usually sugars, right? So this is another way that they sneak in sugars into the ingredient list. So it'll, it might say sugar and dextrose and, uh, you know, high fructose corn syrup, right? Now you have three sugars in there, but it only says sugar once. So we just gotta be mindful of this. And uh, we should be doing this anyway, right? This is our own health. We should be, we should be you know, trying to take care of ourselves um, you know, the best way possible. So if it's, it's a matter of taking a little time out while we're shopping to uh, you know, compare ingredient lists, we should be doing that anyway. Uh, another great topping, um, you know, hot dog onions. It's just, it's another way of getting a little, uh, little bit more vegetables in. Uh, once again, just be mindful of sugars and salts and stuff like that and uh, try, to find, uh, try to find the healthiest uh, option for you. Now, uh, two other uh, very typical, um, you know, hot dog preparations. You got your uh, chili cheese dogs, which are delicious. Um, but be, be mindful. If you're doing like some sort of processed cheese sauce, I mean, that's just not good for you anyway. You should, high, you should have higher standards than that. Um, but, you know, just, just get some cheese and just shred it over the top and it's going to be a little bit better for you. Also, uh, the, the chili that you get, if you're not making it yourself, if you're buying canned chili, take a look at the ingredients again. Uh, look at the salts, look at the sugars. It does it have additional meats in it that uh, could be making it like less healthy for us? Just take a look at things. Um, some people like to wrap their hot dogs with bacon. Uh, sure. Uh, but now you've taken one cured meat and wrapped it with a second cured meat and then uh, put it over a grill and cooked under a high temperature. So it's a little bit of a triple whammy. Um, but I'm going to say this. If you're having a hot dog once in a while and that's what you really want, just go for it. Enjoy your life. Don't be miserable. Unless, you know, you have health issues going on. Um, if you're in the middle of like, you know, cancer treatments, if you have hypertension, if you got high blood pressure, um, be mindful, be smart, you know, understand things. So if you're going through all that, if you have all this stuff going on and you still want a hot dog, have a hot dog, but, um, you know, try to maybe make it a little bit like healthier if you can, you know, buy a good quality hot dog, like we talked about in the last episode and, uh, and pair it with uh, things that are a little bit better because a lot of times hot dogs can be less healthy because of what we pair them with. So if we do French fries from a deep fryer, that's not going to be great. If we do potato chips and I love me some potato chips, particularly with a hot dog. Um, but I will plow through an entire bag of potato chips and I know that, which is why I don't buy them. Um, so that's also not a great, uh, healthy option. Um, one of my favorite side dishes with a hot dog is a cheeseburger, right? Uh, you're at a backyard barbecue. There's always a hot dog. There's always burgers. There's always chicken. There's always like all like this stuff. So, uh, that's another thing to think about is like most of the time you don't just have a hot dog. You normally are like overeating a whole bunch of other stuff too. So once again, be mindful, be realistic on things. So what can we pair with our hot dogs that could be better for us? Well, if we're standing at a grill anyway, uh, here's three things that I, that I love. Um, an ear of corn, right? A little olive oil, salt, pepper, uh, maybe a little crushed red pepper to spice it up a little bit, throw that on a grill, um, char that up a little bit. Uh, 
and that's gonna be that's gonna be good for us. Um, if you're boiling your hot dog, boil it with the corn too. You know, and, and then it's uh, you know do a one pot thing. Um, shishito peppers. I love good blistered shishitos. Um, you can just take those, throw them on your grill uh, as well, or take sweet potatoes. Right, cut them into wedges or disc. You can uh, grill those up as well. That's going to be a healthier option than like a deep fried uh, French fry. Um, it's a good way of going. You can also do those in the oven too or in an air fryer. Um, two staples of barbecues, backyard barbecues, coleslaw and potato salad. Now, I'm fine with both of them. If you do a vinegar-based uh, slaw or potato salad, that's going to be healthier for you than a mayonnaise-based. If you do a light mayo, that's probably going to be a little bit better for you. If you do a plant-based mayo, like Veganaise is a really good brand, uh, that might be a little bit better for you. Um, I'm fine with it I, I, either way. And any way you want to go with it, uh, I'm, I'm good with it. Um, also, baked beans, right? I love baked beans. Baked beans and, uh, and, and, and hot dogs are, are great. Once again, look for salt and look for sugar. Um, baked beans generally have ketchup in it, which we already talked about, and brown sugar. So, you know, it, 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 can, it can very easily get into that uh, realm of high sugar, high, uh, high salt. Um, also, if you get uh, baked beans with, uh, with bacon in it, delicious, yes, uh, but now we're making it a little less healthy. Um, we can also do just a simple, uh, simple summer salad, right? We can just do lettuce, tomato, cucumber. It's nice if you want to throw in some uh, some carrots, maybe some onion. That's fine. Maybe make a citrus uh, citrus vinaigrette um, or a Dijon vinaigrette to get a little bit more of that mustard in there. Uh, that's really good. Also, uh, for me, summertime watermelon. Watermelon's a great thing, and you can take watermelon, you can throw it on a grill, you can char it up, you can uh, do grilled watermelon, and maybe mix it with uh, a nice little salad of uh, arugula, get some dark leafy greens in there, maybe a little feta cheese, uh, get some tang going on. Um, and that's an, a nice little side dish that, uh, that you can do for the summer, uh, not just with hot dogs, just in general, it's a great little side dish. Um, I'm sure you can find a recipe uh, online for that somewhere. So um, at the end of the day, uh, it's hot dogs. We all know that this is not the epitome of healthy eating, right? Um, just, just be mindful of everything. Enjoy your life. Don't be miserable, uh, but also be mindful of things and try to, uh, try to make the uh, healthier options uh, whenever you can. So uh, I hope you found this informative. I hope this uh, gets you to think about your hot dogs uh, slightly differently. And if you uh, like this video, uh, click the like button and tell your friends. Uh, if you uh, don't like this video, um, then uh, tell your enemies. I don't know. I'll take them. Um, also, if you want to hear more of what I got to say, uh, you know, subscribe, turn on your notifications, find out when new videos are coming out, and uh, you know, leave me some comments. I'd love to know what you're thinking, uh, how you feel about all this. Um, I love getting a good dialogue started. So uh, until we speak again, be well, be safe, and be kind to everybody.